In our previous class, we had seen how to create a data model which will return a master detail data in the response. For demonstration purpose, we had used the concept of displaying purchase order header and the line information. For the first purchase order header, there is only one line information. Coming to the second one, there are five to six. So this we had achieved with the help of group link over here, wherein we linked header ID from a header table to the header ID in the lines table, which is the bind parameter which we are linking like this. So in this class, we will see how we can create a RTF template in order to display such kind of master detail data in the user friendly manner. First of all, I will save the data, save the sample data, which will be helpful to create the BIP report later. So in order to consume this data in the BI publisher and in, in our MS Word, we need the sample XML data. So we need to click on export. Clicking on export, it will export the data, but we need more data. Let's take 50 and click on view. Now let's click on export. So this will have a large data. So this has downloaded the .xml file. Then next we will go to our MS Word. Go over to the BI Publisher add-in, select the sample XML and select this file. Click on open. We will get a message saying data loaded successfully. Next, we will go for this table wizard. So before that, let me put the heading master detail demo. Let me just increase the size of this to 22. Make it bold, underline and center. Done. Next, let me just come back to our font. That is, it was previously 11 and it is left aligned. Then let me just give one line space over here. Next, let me come back to BI Publisher. Let's consume the data that is XML data what we just imported. So before that, let me just walk you through the XML file which we just uploaded over here. If you closely observe, we are having one G1 tag over here and within that we are having a G2. So G1 is holding the header as well as the lines information but particularly G2 is holding line information. In second case, here if you see, we are having one G1 segment and within that we are having multiple G2 segments. So it means for this purchase order, we are having multiple line records. So this is what it means. Now let me just come back to my BI publisher, add in, click on the table wizard. First we will go to display only the header items that is the header information, PO header. Click on next. Here it will ask, what is your header information node? So we will tell it is G1. So just now we had seen our header information will be available in G1. Even though G2 is specifically wrapped within this G2. That is G1 slash G2. I will select G1 is my header. Click on next. First I will add the header ID, the PO number, a status and the supplier name that's more than enough for this use case click on next i will keep this default click on finish then so what it has done is it has created one for each loop as we had studied in our previous class it will loop over each g1 segment that is this one in order to read the segments or the fields that is po header id that is available in po underscore header id number status and name now let me see how the output will look like click on this pdf it is asking to save the file. Let me just save the file as master detail and the RTF. Click on save. So it will display the data something like this. That is PO header ID. This is the header ID. What is the status, PO number and the supplier name. So you can have a look at this information. So let's see how we can add the table data now. I will keep the cursor over here, click on enter, again click on this table wizard, go over to the table this time, click on next. I will tell our line item is available in the G2. So the table we are using to display the line items. Because each purchase order header can have n number of line items. So here we are not putting header ID because header ID will always be available over here in the form. Next I will add the line ID, a line number status, item, unit price and the quantity. Click on next and click on finish. So let me just format this like this. 
So formatting and all you can do as per your agreement with the customer. Coming to the table we had earlier seen, we need to iterate over each of the loop. So let me just double click on this F. Here we can see it is looping over G2 segment that which is available under the G1 and here we are having one end which is saying end for each and these are the fields within the G2 segment or the array. Let me just click on this PDF. Here if you see we are seeing the information for header as well as the line items so like this. So this header is having so many lines and this header is having only one line so like this we can get the data so we can improve this further by working with your customers now let me just come back to my rtf template i will save this file go over to my data model and click on this create report i will tell use report editor click on finish i will save this as report over here a report and one click on ok Let's now upload our RTF template, choose the file that is over here, select, I will name this as RTF template, type is RTF template and the locale is English, US, click on upload. Done, click the view as a list, let's select PDF as a default format from the menu, click on save and click on view report now our data will be displayed based on the rtf template so what we had seen in the bi publisher add-in when we click down pdf option so similar data we will be seeing over here so this is how we can create a rtf template in order to display the master child data in the user friendly manner and also we had seen how we can create a vip report using this rtf template and get the same data in the response when it runs.